What we've done is we said leave this bit on because we're going to use this in a minute to hold whilst we heat this up. It saves messing about with tongs. We've put this plate relatively nicely in there. There's still some unsightly gaps. What we haven't got there is a, a fluid movement and b a nice flush finish with that there. Let's see the comparison between the two. It's a stiff movement and we've got gaps everywhere. Certainly when it's closed, when your fist would be closed, we don't want those gaps because that's inviting trouble. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this piece. We're going to hold on to it here and we're gradually going to work these down into it all the time thinking about how it all works together and articulates. So let's get some heat in there and get things moving. Now when I'm heating this, we want the heat on this piece, not on this. Okay, because the hot bit will move, the cold bit won't. So, if you find you're heating the actual knuckle up, give it a quench off, start again. We want the heat on this back piece. So we've got a bit warmed up, get it on a groove of the knuckle and just tamp it down, gently, working both sides of the bit that's resting on the anvil. Don't go at this hard, this is gentle work. And once it cools off, have a little check, move on to the next one. You can see how that's already starting to close down wonderfully. Move your way along, do them all and we'll see where we are at the end. After a quick quench then, just so I can get hold of it now for the video, we can see Maybe that way around, but we've got a nice closure on our rider plate. Still needs a bit of titivating in there, and I haven't put the end crease in, which is why he's a bit off there. I've just spotted, but you can see it works well. It's freeing off, it's got a bit of a weird, it's lower on this end than that end, but that's the right knuckle, the inside knuckle, the big one, so we're okay. And also, there's gonna be a bit of trimming off coming here, which will even that off as well. But you can see there that it's not so difficult to make one of these uh, plates. You can curve this plate, the rider plate, in that profile, the same as we did with the knuckles, a little bit. And then you won't get quite such an opening there. But I'll just knock those down a little bit further um, at another date to make that uh, a bit more satisfactory there. And when I put the creases in for real, we'll get them working nicely. But there will still be a gap here when the hand is open. Um, a wee bit and to get round that you can put a bit of a curve in this plate if you can get your hands on some original um, gothic um, I would suggest more gothic than Maximilian armor you'll spot that when it compresses and so on there are gaps that start to appear um, they weren't too fussed about it um, on some harnesses they were and you see them they're magnificent absolutely fluid throughout the whole movement but that's going to look nice in that position and when it's open it'll be just fine. Good enough for government work anyway. So I hope those videos were useful to you. I'm going to get this trimmed off now so we can get it married up with the gauntlet, give it a crush, get it looking a bit nicer and I'm guessing next I'll probably do the fingers and then the back plate, thumb and we're done.